My name is Lynn, with my partner Steve from the UK. We bought a 300 year old stone farmhouse and olive grove in Abruzzo, Italy, that we call Brambletai. Brambletai is situated just outside a small village overlooking the Adriatic Sea and the Maiella National Park. We've taken on the restoration and renovation of Brambletai ourselves to become our future home. We'd love you to come along with us whilst we learn new skills, a new language, live the lifestyle and explore the region with our dog Button. This week's vlog is all about this stone behind me. It's the one I've been working on the last few days and basically what I'm going to show you is exactly how I've fitted it all together. Um, as you remember, we bought the stone from the local quarry. We'll put some pictures in of that. We then bought the stone back here in the back of the trailer. Uh, the next stage was to cut the stone and I showed you that and we'll stick that piece of video in as well. So that if anybody's not watched the video, you'll, uh, you can understand it sort of straight away. And for anybody that has been watching, keep watching. It's going to get interesting. This is the interesting part. Uh, what I've done is behind me, if you can come in, Lynn. Yeah. Um, if you can come sort of there and get me here. Got you. Uh, yeah, I've actually got the stone. Yeah, now we've got you. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, what I want to... So this is, a, this is a section of the stone. I know you can't get the camera in over the top. But if you walk this way a little bit... And you can see now the two thicknesses of the stone. So that's the face. So that's the one you're always going yeah, to see from that. the outside. And this one here, if you want to come around a little bit. Which is a bit narrow there, isn't it? It's going to line up with that orange spray line, which is the plumb line we've always been working to. So this is the narrower stone, and that's the piece that I fixed and glued onto. Right. And obviously all this stone is going to be cleaned up anyway, so don't worry about the discoloration. That's perfectly okay. Now... This stone is not in its final position. This is actually going to be sitting about eight inches further back inside this wall. Hence why I needed the cutout. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, when this former, this wooden former here, is in position, it will actually sit inside the doorway. And that's on that orange line. And that is going to be exactly on the orange line. So this doorway is going to become 1.4 meters wide. That stone is going to sit against that former, but all of this is going to move inside here. So what I needed to do is to get this stone prepared to fully understand how it's going to look and how it's going to sit. It looks perfectly okay. Uh, from what we've done before, it looks exactly the same as one of the big stones now. Uh, there's no difference. And obviously what we've got to do is to design it so it sits inside this wall up here. So is, is there any questions? Because um, it's not apparent to everybody what I'm trying to do. No, but there's a few I'm, people ask questions. I think, I think I'm sort of like the question person sometimes, aren't I? If I don't understand it. Um, but I mean, I can quite clearly see that you've created, it's almost like an L shape for it to fit yeah. into place, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which was quite important and, I, and now that you've got it up against the wall I can see it much clearer yeah. than I could when it was on the bench and once it's inside the wall you'll not know that's a full stone and the difference no. is the difference is between 250 euros for a carved one and that costs all in 15 euros and and also it would be quite good I Steve quite pleased about that. I'm very pleased about that oh, okay. but also be quite good because I can see where um, others can't see I can see above the original stone that you created but you can see that maybe it'd be nice to show that yeah I've got a photograph of that oh yeah. great that'd be nice we've got a picture of that so we can do that so do you need me to show anything more uh, no not particularly um, but uh, yeah if you if you enjoy the vlog um, if you can subscribe uh, it helps us build the mm -hmm. channel if you can tick the like box and uh, the bell that'd be lovely mm -hmm. is there anything else we've got to do uh what i would say is we've had some fabulous um comments we've also had some great new um subscribers from a lot of different countries trinidad and tobago is now with us yeah there's a lot of people um, interested in the stonework strangely very from much so outside the country yeah. a lot of questions and obviously we're getting into the interesting part doing this part is is uh it's not as 
boring as some of the other parts of the building where it's so repetition it's just day in day out but this is if it doesn't go in right it's not going to look right no. so it has to go in right okay so back to the stonework uh, what we've got I've made myself up a bench that I can uh, nut and bolt my vice onto and uh, just sorted out all the tools so I've got everything I need all in one go and I've cut these little spigots this is what I was talking about in the last program so this is just um, cut from a piece of standard wool thread uh, and I've got the, uh, the nuts and bolts uh, the, 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 the nuts and washers to go with them now if you're not sure how I'm going to use it keep watching and I'll make it plainly clear so that's the hole I did, and uh, that's the spigot, it goes in there like that. And in there will go a two part uh, epoxy chemical glue. And I'm going to put one there, one in there, one in there, and one in there. So I've got to drill, I haven't drilled those holes yet, but I'm just going to drill them in a minute and get those all plugged in. Now, once those are glued in, then I'll offer that stone up with the holes in exactly the same place. So I'll drill all the way through there, and then I'm going to drill a recessed larger hole in the top of that. And that's going to go down 20mm, 20 20mm 20 or so, and then I'm going to put a washer over the top of that spigot and a nut, and I'll just be able to um, tighten that up on top of there. But before that I'll put a layer of, uh, of glue cement in here. It's going to be a thin layer because I don't want there to be a gap in there. But the important thing here is to get that glue covered throughout the area. So I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit. I've got a wire brush to do that. So I'll just be scraping that lightly. And that surface on the underside of that and that surface is going to f uh, fit flush perfectly so I don't want any form of gap there. And then once you've you've got it right, offer it up to this, shimmy it back and forward so you get a really, really tight bond. And obviously what's, what that is going to do is give you a waterproofing for uh, the exterior. We don't want any gaps or air bubbles in this um, so that any frost gets in. What frost does to this stone is it, it pops it when it's under pressure. But the next part I'm going to show you is when these holes are drilled. So I'll show you a little bit of drilling. And then we'll start to put these what put these pegs in. So let's go for the first hole. This is the first one I'm doing. So this is the uh, the guinea pig, and the drill is on uh, hammer drill number two. So it couldn't be any stronger, and it's got a full a full charge. And I've put a piece of tape around here, so I know how far I'm going in. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange, yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test, yeah. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention, I'll leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon, 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! Okay, so that's all five So, like I said, one, two, three, four and five, so that's good. Nice. Right, okay, so next stage is going to be um, pulling, uh, checking that these are sitting down properly so that there's no dust inside. So I'll save the dust on top, save all that, but it, to keep, to get that hole really clean, I'm going to put the hoover on it and then just give it a little whirl around with the drill again and then hoover it again 
because what we want is that chemical it needs to sit in there and go solid and the important thing about this is that that bar it needs to sort of sit as much as you can get it um, to sit up straight like that so all I need to do and I've put the chemical in I can offer that in there the chemical will go off in just a few minutes and then uh, we can just twirl it around a little bit and you'll feel it go soft or hard rather I should say and then uh, it'll stay exactly there doesn't need to be perfect just good enough perpendicular to to this piece of stone so like I said this is the guinea pig one so once I know I can do this then obviously I'll get on with the rest of the stone as well um, there's a little bit of work involved in this but if I had bought this stone with the channel out all done for me uh, would have been upwards of 250 euros a piece at the moment this stands me uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 at this moment it stands me 10 euros in stone uh, a couple of euros in all thread nuts and bolts let's say a couple of euros more and the glue probably about one euros use along this strip so for about 15 euros um, it's, it's a no-brainer so it's got to be done right like I said uh, I'm going to save the uh, very handy it might not be much but it'll all add up we don't need too much of it when I do need it so uh, every little counts it just gives you the same color again as the stone once you mix it with, a, with an exterior filler it's not much but we'll get half a pot out of everything I'm doing here so that's quite handy it's always handy to keep uh, keep that stuff, missed one uh, okay um, this is the chemical so it's quite a considerable size gun and normally comes with a nozzle, I'm not using the nozzle because I want to use mix up just half an inch for each spigot but I need half an inch individually because I'm not going to have enough time before it dries to get from one spigot to the next so if I do it individually it take a bit longer um, but what it means is that uh, I'll be able to watch it and get it in there straight otherwise you're going to put them in there you'll come back to it and then it'll be sitting crooked the glue for the um, for the stone so it's Saratoga and uh, it's new technology glue so it tells me it's very very strong adhesive and it doesn't go on too thickly which is what I want I don't need a gap between this stone or I don't want a visible line or the smallest one I can possibly get when we see it, the finished item and uh, this is for exterior use so it's waterproof as well so it tells me it does the job and this is the gun for that I've just got to cut the end off the tube before I use it and what it means is I've got everything ready to do this job in one go so uh, hopefully by today we'll have that stone glued on top of that stone but I'm just starting to drill the holes through the smaller piece obviously that are going to line up with these spigot holes here uh, what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do this is exactly like this I'm going to drill a small pilot hole through with a stone masonry bit if you can see that then I'm going to put in a, uh, a recess using a 20mm and the reason for not starting off with that is this will give me a centre line all the way through then this will go in roughly 15 20 mil roughly and then this one will be the final drill to go through now what you can see is this is a bigger drill than that hole but what that's going to do is to take up any slack in and make sure that I've got a little bit of tolerance inside that big hole once you've got that tolerance all these spigots 
because there's five and we've got to line them all up at the same time hopefully they will line up all at the same time if I've measured these properly which means that you'll probably see it on camera and although the hole will be slightly bigger once it's filled up with the chemical goop the mixture from this one obviously it'll make no difference that's the plan let's just see if it works so I'm going to put my pilot hole through here go all the way through hopefully that'll be easy enough uh, the trick here is to keep the hole straight so Venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is a lesson. He got a new engine from Pim, it's a blessing. New focus, no guessing, just hold an obsession. I'm in his possession, you got the retention. I leave an impression and take a redemption. Just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon. 11 11, it's time for progression. Oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. But he ain't from the people who deceive me. But he ain't break through the chains, go free. People like sheep, no feet, heard it easy. Don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for the fight, believe me When they try to change, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Just gonna take you off the tripod and take a look at this Right, okay, so if we look at the hole vertically now, you can see the recess and the hole looks pretty vertical to me, and obviously that's going to meet up with that spigot. Okay, all the holes are done. Now, just cleaning up a little. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go for a dry fit. I think it's called a dry fit. It means I'm going to see if these holes line up and sit in the right place because we know exactly where they should be now. So if we put this one on here. Like so. This is the first time I've done this. Um, like that. Let's try that again. We're just a tiny, tiny fraction short where the rock should, where the actual stone should be. Right. One. Two. Three. Four. Just need to straighten this one up a little bit. Yes. I don't want to force it in. These need to go in um, quite easily. I don't want to get into a position where they don't go in easily. And the idea of this dry fit is to make sure everything goes in properly like this because when we put it on top and it's all gluing together we won't have an opportunity to have a second go at it. So. Life, make a dream job, no nine five, no mean boss, just my life and free thoughts. 
try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep on this scheming Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so what we need to do is now to get that in straight. So stay with me and you'll watch this happen. I'm going to do, I told you I'm going to mix up the, um, the chemical for each one and let it sit individually. It'll take a bit longer, but it'll be worth doing in the end. And what I'll be able to do is to clean up any excess of the chemical that comes up if it does surface around the edge, because obviously we don't want that there, because that's going to interfere with our the other side of the face side of the block. Right, let's get some of this mixed up. Now, it doesn't take long for this stuff to... Uh, So let's start getting that in that hole. So that's a hardener in that resin. And it sets like concrete. So one end of this is one end that I've um, ground so we can get the nut on easier which is that side. So that goes in first and you can see our excess now. I don't intend trying to do the second one using the excess because it would be one job too far. I know it will. Just concentrate on one at a time, because otherwise and I'll show you this in a minute. It started to go off already. You can feel it, it's warm actually. So what we want to do is to make sure that, that this is straight. So just do two quarters and you will guarantee that that is straight. Now once you've got it straight you need to rub any excess chemical away because I'm not going to be able to get that off otherwise. All right. That is perfectly straight. So you take the residue off the stone because even a slight difference is going to make a difference. When the two faces come together.
Yeah, you can just start to feel it going off now. And that is straight. Okay, lovely. Now, if there is any excess around the base, tiny, tiny bits, it's not worth disturbing the spigot because the hole in the top piece was bigger, do you remember? And what that meant is that this has good clearance. I can actually feel that going off now. Right, okay. What I'll do is I'll get on with the next one, find the end that's ready for the nut, make sure everything's good, good. But you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stained from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange uh, I'll be the best above all the rest Put me to the test uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing Just bought an obsession, all in his possession, you got the retention I'll leave an impression and take a redemption, just kill no discretion Your mind is a weapon, 11, 11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Right, okay, they are in, spigots are in. I'll remove the uh, drill out of the way. We're just going to go for a dry fit, which means no fixing or gluing. Just seeing if that meets where it's supposed to. Oh. So if I do that one, technically, they should all fit in exactly like that. Now what this gives me an opportunity to do is to find fit. So if anything needs to move, I can do that now. Everything's good. I want this one to come this way a little bit, just to centre them. That's all I'm saying. Nothing, nothing major. You can see it's gone on nice. So this one needs to go that way. So if we put a mark on here in the direction I just need to knock that pole with a little arrow we should get a perfect fit and you can probably see they all need knocking just a tad and if you put that there And don't get me shirt caught. Right, okay, so we're talking about a small knock. There you go. That's a small knock. That one goes that way. And that just centres them in that hole. You're not disturbing the the the, the chemical because uh, it's already gone. It's already gone off. Okay, now that should have centered it. Now, another dry fit first. So that's one of three. Get the center one on, the rest should follow. Right, center, center. Centre, centre, and centre. That's lovely. It's gone on nice. What that does, when you're in the centre, it gives me this tolerance I need. It's not much at all. But it just means I can get this exactly as it needs to be. You can't see it from this side, but I'll, I will be showing you. Um, I just need to make sure when we start gluing this, we're going to do it once.
That feels pretty good. If I bring the camera around, you can start to see you're on the tripod, so excuse the uh, camera going everywhere. You start to see, you don't always see perfection on the camera. Um, but I think you should be able to see if there was any gap there. And actually it's very good. Right, so the key here is to keep everything as clean as possible. So I need to get this... Um, I'm going to leave the camera running uh, simply because I'm operating the camera and doing this at the same time is probably going to be a bit tricky. So I'm going to be using this new formula, new technology formula glue. Uh, now the key is I've got four tubes of this so we'll see how much we use. Right, I need to get this on quickly, so I'll just check the camera's up and running. I'm probably going to leave you alone while I'm doing this. So what I want to do is get... Uh, right up to the edge. Right to both edges, that's roughly the where the pencil line was. And give that a good coating. And what I don't know is how quickly this is going to go off in this kind of heat. So, that's why I'm not messing around. What I'm going to do with this, in a second, you'll see. Right, okay. So that might be enough to get it going. Right. I don't mind any excess, that's just going to come through the sides and up the spigots. So the spigots can get glued, I don't mind that at all. What I don't want is it to be caked on, so I've got a lot of pushing to do. It does look like the glue is going to be able to be thin enough once the two are locked together. And it feels like it's going to be decent glue it, as well. What I don't want to do is leave any air gaps in there, let that frost in. bit of excess is better than not enough so okay I feel like I should probably start getting that on like so now what we've got to do is shimmy that down so what we're trying to do close this gap up as much as we can. It feels good. I like it. I've not used the product before. 
I was recommended to use this by somebody who knows what he's doing, which isn't me. And all I was told to is work quickly and don't get into too much of a mess. So keep everything clean. Now, if I look at that, it's still reasonably um, pliable. So what I'd like to do is to start thinking That shimmy you're seeing here, this movement side to side, is really just flattening that out. So well, I don't want any gaps in there. If I put that wash and that bolt on there and tighten it up and too tight, obviously that's going to snap. And we don't want that either. So this is not going to be... a... The spigot will do the job. Oh, looking pretty good. And if you leave a bit on the wood, you can see how long it takes to set. It's still as creamy as it was when it came out of the tube. So I'm quite happy about that because if it takes a couple of hours to set, then we've got a couple of hours. I can just leave this overnight. You can just see a little bit splurging out the side. So what I am doing is taking effect. But what I don't want to do is put so much weight on it that it puts a crack on it because that's going to be a wasted job. I've just got a bit of... There we go. Right. Very pleased with the way this stone has responded so far. And as I said before, I am not a stonemason. But... coming up very nicely indeed. Right, okay, next job. Washers, where are you? Here. So five washers and get them over the top of the spigots. Which is what that recess hole was done for. in nice. Let's make sure they're all bedded down properly. Now keep an eye on this this line. This is your this is your face that is on the outside of the house, this one. But this one is on the inside of the door frame. So this needs to have special attention paid to it. Just making sure it's not creeping forward as I'm working on it. Now what these bolts are going to do is to stop that movement. That's all they're going to do is to hold. They're just going to stop that movement that it's going to give me. So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's, it's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off from a break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts 
try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy. You don't wanna be fast asleep when they ski me. Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me. When they try the chains, you can say no, free me. Right, so it's just tight enough but not for this not to move at all. Go back to the first one. That was a very loose fit, so I can afford to tighten him up a little bit more. And just get him to come to a stop. See, they're all quite loose. Like just a half a turn, just to finish it off. And you can see what's happening. The uh, the glue. So the bolts are doing their job. They've just eased it down just a fraction more. Just bringing that that line together. But I don't think personally it could have come out a lot better. What I want to do is to see I can't move it at all. So what it's starting to do is to lock together. Just that face of glue either side. I really cleaned the both surfaces, the inside surfaces, really, really well. Hoovered them, cleaned them, sandpapered them. Scored them up a little bit so the glue's got something to grip onto. Um, but not so much that it's upset the surface to give it a ridge, which would make a, a gap between these two pieces. It's important that these two pieces become one. The camera's picking that up very slightly. Really gives a smooth finish. Right, that is it. Now, I'm just making sure the camera's on. Now, that is perfectly flat. Lovely. There's no gap there whatsoever. You can still see a line, I appreciate that. But what we can do is start to mask that line out. I'll show you how we do that. So that'll be the next process. We wouldn't have got rid of it straight away, but the joining feels perfect. I can't feel a ridge on my finger at all. Right, so what does that give us? That gives us that profile at the end. There you go, you see it nicely now. That's what we're looking for.